Welcome to this video tutorial about custom code adaptation for S4HANA. In this tutorial, you will get an overview about simplification database, check custom code with Abaptest Cockpit, and adapt custom code to SAP S4HANA. In SAP Logon, connect to your system by entering your logon data, the client, your user, and your password. In this exercise, you will use the transaction SYCM to get an overview of the SAP Business Suite source code affected by the simplification in the SAP S4 HANA. We will search in the simplification database for certain objects, navigate to the affected objects and read the SAP notes to understand the changes in SAP S4 HANA and receive more detailed information on functional adaptation to SAP S4 HANA. And now, let's start the transaction SYCM. In order to use the transaction, download the latest support package of the simplification database content from the SAP Service Marketplace and import the zip file into your NetWeaver system. Click the Overview button to display the SAP S4HANA simplifications. The simplification items are grouped by the simplification category. Choose an SAP note title within a simplification category and list the affected by this simplification objects by clicking on the underlined items number. This SAP note gives general information about the material number field extension. Click on the SAP object name to navigate to the affected ABAP code. The data element selected based on the new material domain is a chart type and contains 40 characters. Go back to the transaction entry screen. Type material number into object name field and click show content button to display related objects to the material number change. Navigate to the corresponding SAP node. This node gives an overview about how this extension was implemented and what the consequences of the extension are for customer code. For details on different aspects, see the reference notes. Go back to the transaction SYCM entry screen. Type TRAN into object type field. Type M into object name field and click Show Content button to display simplifications in all transactions beginning with M. You may click on the SAP Notes number to understand the simplification. So play around with the SYCM transaction to get to know it better. In this exercise, you will get an overview of the ATC transaction and learn its basic tasks like scheduling ATC run series, working with the ATC statistics view, displaying and filtering ATC results, getting detailed information on an ATC finding, and navigating to the source code from ATC result. Startup up test cockpit. In the ATC overview tree, choose Schedule runs and double click it. Click Create button and enter the run series name and click OK. Enter as check variant as for HANA readiness and schedule a check run over two packages by choosing multiple selection. Don't forget to save it. Select your just created run configuration in the table and click Schedule button. Click Execute button on the next screen. Go back to the ATC overview screen and double click the monitor and control runs. Let the run series field empty and execute. Click on the execution of your project. Here you can see all the checks faces of ATC and which objects are checked. This may take a while. Wait until you will get the finished status. Now go back to the ATC overview screen. Double click the Manage Results node and enter your ATC run series name and click Execute. As you can see, you have seven priority one findings and zero priority two and three findings. Select the result in the table and click Display button now. 
The result table displays all ATC findings of simplifications in the SAP S4 HANA in relation to the custom code of the package selected. From here you can navigate to the corresponding source code part by clicking on the object name. Now you can analyze the code. Now go back to the table result list and sort your object name elements by clicking on the head of the column and then on the sort button. Get more explanations about the changes by checking the corresponding SAP node. Click on the note number. The note will open automatically in the knowledge base. The note explains that in SAP S4 HANA, the following transactions have been replaced by the single screen transaction MIGO. Go back to the ATC list. You can filter the findings on different categories. Now open the statistic view. Here you can organize, group your findings and apply certain filters. Click Choose Statistic and select SAP Node Number. Click on one node. On the below list you can see all the findings assigned to this SAP node. In my situation it's only one. You can filter also based on a reference object. Or even more than that, on a specific reference object, from the drop-down list, select Reference Object equals Table VBUK, for example, and click on Apply Filter button. These were some of the filtering capabilities in ATC. In the next part of this video tutorial, you will adapt your custom code to SAP S4 HANA. On an S4HANA system, you will use ATC in ABAP development tools for Eclipse, check your custom programs for S4HANA readiness with ATC, work with your ATC results, and fix the ATC findings one by one. In the Start menu, search for ABAP in Eclipse and launch it. This is your Integrated Development Environment, or IDE. After launching, click Open Perspective button on the top right side of the screen and switch to the ABAP perspective. Create an ABAP project, which is the central interface between the IDE and the ABAP backend system. In the new ABAP project dialog, choose the system where you have the programs and click Next button. The connection properties are inserted, just continue with Next button. Provide the logon information for the system and click Finish. Unfold your ABAP project in the Project Explorer and add favorite packages to your project via the context menu Favorite Packages, Add Package, and type the name of the package and then click OK. Unfold your package in the Project Explorer. Select your program and execute it, doing right-click on the program and going to Run As, ABAP Application. Choose MB11 Transaction and click Execute button. The issue is that in SAP ES4 HANA, the transaction MB11 is obsolete. Now let's execute the program again. And this time choose the second transaction and click execute button. The issue is now that the call of this transaction causes runtime error and your program dumps. It's time to analyze it. Run ATC doing right click on the program and go to run as and select about text cockpit with S4 HANA readiness. You will get a work list with two ATC findings, which you need to fix. Click on the first ATC finding to display the details. Look up the error using the SAP node number. Let's copy the node and open it in the knowledge base. As you can see from the SAP node, the transaction MB11 is obsolete in SAP S4 HANA and must be replaced by the transaction MIGO. Now fix the finding in the code by replacing MB11 with the transaction MIGO. Save and activate. Now click on the second ATC finding and look up the error 
using the SAP node number. As you can see from the SAP node, the article hierarchy maintenance via transaction mat GRP is not available anymore in SAP S4 HANA and should be maintained via transaction W mat GRP, which are richer in functionality. Now fix the finding by replacing the call of the transaction mat GRP03 by the call of the transaction W mat GRP03. Save the code and activate. Now let's rerun ITC check again for the same program. By doing right click, go to Run As and select above the cockpit width, check variant as for HANA readiness. As you can see, no findings in the work list. Now execute your program by putting the cursor into the source code and press the F8 button. Select now the first transaction and click execute button. The transaction starts. Do the same thing for the second transaction. As you notice, it works also. That means that the both ATC findings were fixed. Let's select now the program material field length and execute it. Do right click on the program, go to run as and select ABAP application. The issue is that this program displays data mess in the table output. So let's analyze it. Run ABAP test cockpit for the program and select as check variant as for HANA readiness. And click OK button. You will get one ATC finding in the work list. Click on the finding. And you will see from the error message and from the source code that there is a length conflict. Open the note mentioned in the details analysis for more information. In SAPS for HANA, the material number field length has been extended from 18 to 40 characters. Double click on the error. Confirm the error by checking the field symbol and the variable using the element info. Press now the F2 key on your keyboard. Click now on type material number. As you can see, the length is 40. Now press F2 key on L material and check the TY material. The length here is 18. The conflict length happened at the move from the 40 characters variable Elmara to the 80 characters variable L material. Navigate to the error prone position. Now fix the finding by replacing the variable type of 18 characters with the SAPS for HANA type material number. Now save and activate. Now rerun ATC check again using the context menu recheck to make sure the finding was solved. The ATC work list now displays no finding. Execute your program by putting the cursor into the source code and press F8. The correct data is now displayed into the table. The last program I will check is the model data. So run the program in the context menu runners and select tab of application. The issue is that the program causes runtime error and the program dumps. Run ATC in order to analyze it. And select as check variant as for HANA readiness. You have one ATC finding in the work list. Click on the ATC finding and look up the error using the SAP note number. Copy the number and open it in the knowledge base. As you can see from the document, there is the field length extension of SD document category in S4HANA, but more information are in the attachments of the note. Open the last attachment and navigate to the overview. All usages of the data element VB type char1 and its deviation have been replaced by the new data element VB type L char4 and its deviations. 
navigate to the appendix of the document to check the new constants in SAP S4 HANA. Click on the finding to go to the error in the source code. Fix the finding by replacing the VB type with VB type L and use the new SAP S4 HANA interface if SD doc category corresponding to the value L as you saw in the appendix. Now save and activate your source. Rerun ATC check again for the program and make sure your ATC worklist is empty now. There are no findings in the worklist. Execute your program by putting a cursor into the source code and press F8. The program runs correctly now. Let's move to the next exercise. Select from the Project Explorer your program, right click, and execute it by run as ABAP application. In this program, the issue is that there is no data displayed. So, in order to analyze it, run ABAP test cockpit. You will do that by right click on the program and then go to run as ABAP test cockpit with and then enter the check variant, in my cases for HANA readiness, and click OK. I got two ATC findings in the work list, so let's have a look to the details view for each of them. The details analysis indicates to check one SAP note. Let's copy the note and open it in the knowledge base. It shows the symptoms and indicates the solution, but more information about the findings will be found in the attachment. Open the third attachment and navigate to the introduction part. In the simplification of the status data model, it is stated that in the SAP S4 HANA, the status information was moved from the table VBUK to the table VBAK. The document gives also a precise example of coding adaptation. The second finding is within the read binary search statement. This statement depends on the order of the entries in the internal table. But the problem is in the previous select from VBUK statement where no order by clause is specified. So the both ATC findings can be fixed by selecting only the required fields from the table VBAK. Fix the findings by replacing the SELECT and IF and IF statements in your source code with the following solution. Save it and activate. Now rerun ATC again for your program in the same way you did before. Right-click on the program, then go to Run As, ABAP Test Cockpit Width, and select this for HANA Readiness. ATC Worklist is empty now. Execute your program by putting the cursor into the source code, and then press F8. The table is now filled with data. This is the end of the video. For further information, please visit our ABAP testing and analysis community and the related blogs. Thank you.